this is one of multiple videos discussing RIP or Writing Information Protocol. This is a troubleshooting video. In this scenario, we've been told that Router 1 is not able to ping the loopback of Router 4. So let's verify that. Ping 4.4.4.4. We can see that the ping fails. So let's have a look at the routing table. Show IP route. Okay, so here's a problem. We don't have any RIP routes in the routing table. Show IP protocols. RIP is enabled on this router. It's enabled on the Gigabit 00 interface and the loopback interface, which looks correct on router one. According to this output, we are receiving information from router 10112, but in the routing table, we don't see those routes. Notice the last update was 11 minutes ago. So this is stale information or old information. 12 minutes since we had an update from that router. Show CDP neighbors. We do see router two as a neighbor. Can we ping router two? Yes, we can. Debug IP RIP. Are we receiving any RIP updates from router two? Okay, so router one is sending an update out of the gigabit interface, but at the moment, we're not receiving any updates from router two. While we're waiting for that output, I'll do a debug on router two. Debug IP RIP. So back on router one, we are sending an update out of gigabit 00. We're sending an update out of the loopback. We're sending an update out of gigabit 00, but we're not receiving any updates. On this side, we are sending an update out of the loopback. Sending an update out of gigabit 01. We've received an update on gigabit 00, but what are we not doing? What do you think is the problem based on this output? I'll turn off the debug. Show IP protocols. RIP is enabled on router two. Can you see the problem? Based on this output, what's wrong here? I'll scroll down. What's wrong based on this output? Okay, look at this. Passive interface. When you configure an interface as passive in RIP, it means it won't send updates out of that interface. It will receive them. So notice router two is receiving information about the loopback of router one, but router one is not receiving routes from router two. So I'll turn the debug off on this side as well. Notice router one has no routes in the routing table, but router two does have the loopback of router one in the routing table. So it's receiving updates, but it's not sending them out because of this passive command. Show run section rip. This command means that router two will not send updates out of gigabit zero zero. So router rip, no passive interface gigabit zero zero. Show run section rip. That should hopefully have solved the problem and it has. We are receiving rip updates about the loopback of router two. So ping 2.2.2.2. We can ping the loopback of router two. Show IP route. Is this correct? Answer is no, we don't see a route to the loopback of router four. So it's kind of working, but we haven't solved all the problems yet. So router one doesn't have network 4.4.4 in the routing table and it doesn't have it in the RIP database. What about router two? Show IP route. Network four doesn't show up in the routing table and doesn't show up in the RIP database. But we do have network 10130 in the routing table and in the RIP database. So can we ping 10131? Yes, we can. What about 10132? Yes, we can but we don't see quadruple four in the routing table. So in router three, show IP route. Router four is not shown in the routing table, 
and is not shown in the RIP database. What about on router four? Show IP route. So 4.4.4.4 is directly connected. Show IP RIP database. What do you think is the problem? The network shows up as directly connected, as you can see over there, but it's not shown in the RIP database. What's the problem? Show run pipe section RIP. What's the problem? In this example, network four is not being advertised. Now I've entered it that way. Remember what RIP does. It changes it to 4.0.0.0 because this is a class A network. Show IP RIP database. That network is now shown in the RIP database. Hopefully, it's got all the way to router one. It hasn't yet, show IP route. Not in the database of router one yet. What about router three? Still hasn't learnt about that network. Show IP route, show IP RIP database. That looks good, might just take a while. RIP is not like other routing protocols that advertise things a lot quicker. Or perhaps there's another problem. Router three can ping the loopbacks of router one and router two. Can it ping the loopback of router four? Answer is no. So let's do some more troubleshooting. Debug IP RIP on router four. Debug IP RIP on router three. Let's see if we see any problems in the debug. Show IP protocols. RIP is enabled on both gigabit interfaces and the loopback of router three. Show IP protocols on router four. Can you see a problem? If we look in the debug, notice router three is ignoring a RIP version one packet from 10.1.3.2. So on all, show IP protocols once again, shows us that the send version on gigabit 00 on router three is version one. On this side, show IP protocols, the send version is two and receive version is two. Router four will accept both version one and version two on the gigabit interface, but router three will only receive version Two, and router four is sending version one. So show run interface gigabit zero zero. No configuration is shown there. Show run pipe section rip. No configuration on that. So let's go onto the gigabit interface and type IP rip send version one and two. So I'll change it to send both versions. You could nail it down, which would be better as only version two to be consistent. But just to show you the option, notice we are sending and receiving version one and two. And on this side, we are sending and receiving version two. So show IP route now, we should start learning about the loopback of router four. But let's confirm this, debug IP RIP. Show IP RIP database, the network four is advertised by RIP, it's shown up in the RIP database. We did receive an update about network four now, using RIP version two. The RIP version one update was ignored, but the version two update was accepted. So show IP route, we now see network four in the routing table, and we can ping the loopback of router four. So I'll turn off debugging there. Just to prove it again, we can ping the loopback of router four, show IP route on router one. We see the loopback of router four and we can ping the loopback of router four. So that was an example of how to troubleshoot RIP. In this example, there were multiple problems in the network. We had inconsistent versions of RIP. We had passive interfaces. 
and we weren't advertising a network correctly using the network command. I hope you enjoyed this video. If it was of benefit to you, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.